Hello guys, my name is Shunner. In today's video, we are going to talk about KNF Concepts Magnetic ND Filters. Buying ND filter or filters can be really frustrating for many people, especially if you're a beginner. In today's video, I will try to help you to make a decision. Sooner or later, you're going to need an ND filter. I mean, you cannot avoid that. If you're a videographer or a photographer, it doesn't matter. You will need an ND filter, especially if you want to shoot video or photo outside. If you want to get that shallow depth of field outside, or maybe you're trying to get that creamy looking sea or river shots or maybe clouds i mean you need an nd filter to achieve those and if you used an nd filter you know how difficult it can be to use nd filters and if you're a beginner you're in the correct place i will try to help you to make a decision you might already have a question mark in your head why it's difficult to use nd filter where for me it's actually really difficult because i am so clumsy when i'm using my camera gear so i want to just you know be harsh on my gear and like just try to pull what i want to pull from my camera and my lenses and when i need that nd filter when i want to go to f 1.2 when there's a broad sunlight i need that nd filter to put it there and my hands are dirty right because i have been using my gears all day so when i try to put that nd filter it can be really frustrating because my fingers are dirty if i touch the nd filter then i have to clean the nd filter or maybe i touch the lens meanwhile so in those scenarios it's really time consuming to clean the lens or the nd filter instead of cleaning my lens and nd filter all the time i would like to just you know focus on my framing and my sharpness and stuff like that instead of dealing with these hustles so in those cases this nd filter is the right ND filter to use. The SkinF Concept magnetic filters are waterproof and they have anti-scratch coating. I don't know if you've, I mean, in most of the cases, using an ND filter is an annoying thing for me because if I put an ND filter to my lens, uh, I mean, I have to carry the camera on my neck, on my hand or somewhere because I cannot put that to bag anymore. And if I do that, ND filter will touch somewhere in the bag and it will get dirty. And most of the cases I cannot put the lens cap also. Now I feel like I have to show you an example, then you will understand better and you will understand what I'm trying to say most probably better as well. Because it can be really difficult to understand if you haven't used ND filter much. And maybe you're totally fine with using an ND filter, but I believe this product at least can make it really easy. I have right now two lenses here. Both of them is different sizes. I will also explain these size differences soon because I believe you have to get these step up rings or step down rings. So stay tuned for that information. All right, now, so we have two different sizes of lenses. I have installed here the magnetic ND filter and here I'm going to just attach a normal ND filter. You might be wondering how these ND filters are working. I will try to explain that first. This KNF Concept Nano X magnetic ND filters comes with three pieces when you order these. One of them is the magnetic adapter. So there is threads here. This you screw to your lens. And the other two pieces has magnets on them. So for example, this one is ND8 and you just 
I will just try to show you. Drop it over here and it goes into place. And then there comes a landscape. I mean, this, this is so smart. I mean, why they didn't make these before? Because as I was explaining, when I'm using an ND filter, my fingers are touching here or somewhere, raindrops, I mean, dust, anything can come here. And usually you're not able to attach your landscape here. I mean, at least in my cases, because as I was explaining, I'm using step up rings or step down rings. And I think you should use these as well. I will explain why, but I'm using those step down rings. So my ND filters are usually biggest as possible. And then I adapt these ND filters to my lenses. That's why this magnet cap comes really handy. So you just leave it here. Voila, you just, you know, protect your ND filter. Now you can put it to your camera bag or wherever you want. So really good job, KNF Concept. I think this is a brilliant idea. Let's take the ND filter and let's put it to our lens. Done. It's this simple. And then put the cap on. I mean, you can put this anywhere you want now because this will protect your lens and ND filter as well because this is metal or aluminium. I'm not sure what kind of material is this, but it's rugged, that's for sure. So you can even put that to a table, no problems. But if you wouldn't have this, I mean, try to put it somewhere. I mean, I don't recommend it for sure. I mean, this is a brilliant idea because these magnets, I mean, this, for example, this specific ND filter is ND8. And if I have another one over here, which is ND64, I can put them top of each other, block more sunlight easily, and I can still put the landscape on and I can put it anywhere. I mean, this is so well designed. And as I was saying, you can get different strength of magnetic ND filters and you can stack them top of each other and you can stop quite much light. So this was this easy to put it on and off. I mean, I can try to show you how it works with a regular ND filter. So regular ND filters has, you know, threads. I mean, these can be really frustrating because in some of the cases, these are not working well. For example, in dark conditions, it's really difficult to adjust where it goes. It can be time consuming. Even you can damage your lens thread and that's the worst scenario and you wouldn't like to do that for sure because i think after that you can not put any nd filters to your lens you have to get a matte box or something so those threads has to be well protected and this one actually goes quite easy but I mean, if you use these ND filters, you know what I mean. It's, it can be sometimes really frustrating to just try to adjust where it goes and screw it down. And I already touched here actually while I, tr I tried to do this. Now I started to think why would I go back and use those, you know, regular ND filters because this feels so easy to use and I mean, so simple and i like when something makes my life easier and this makes my life super easy now i will explain why you need these step up rings let's say that you bought a 58 millimeter nd filter and after that you got yourself a brand new 72 millimeter lens and you want to use this nd filter there well, I'm sorry, but you cannot do that. That's why you should get these step up rings. And when you're purchasing an ND filter, get the biggest ND filter possible. So for example, let's say that you have a 77 millimeter lens, get the 77 millimeter lens. That's okay. Even you can get 82 millimeter and then you can get a step down ring and you can attach that to a 77 millimeter lens. In the future, you can get more step down rings and you can put that to a 58 millimeter lens even, even lower if it's necessary. So 
In those cases, it will be really handy to have a step down ring. ND filters are costing way much more than the step up rings. If you want to check the step up rings also, you can find down in the description some links for these. So get the biggest ND filter and then use the step up rings. And another good thing about these step down rings now that I can tell is, for example, I can get step down rings to all my lenses and then attach this magnetic filter in between in seconds. Take the ND filter, put it to one lens and then I do what I do. I take some pictures or video, then I took it from here if I want to change camera and then I put it to that camera. So th that becomes really handy because as I was saying, this has also, if you want to, for example, take this from a camera and put the, another camera, this has also that thread thing that you have to attach it to a camera. In that case, you will do it only once to each camera and then you can put these magnetic filters to each camera with their magnet without screwing them down. I think this makes this really handy and then voila metal cap on and then we can put it anywhere you want. I mean simple is that that's why I think I can highly recommend this product to anybody who is on the market to get an ND filter and if you want to get the quickest and fastest and the most secured one with a metal cap even I think these are way to go. Last but not least, if you want to purchase this product, you can find the links down in the description with a discount code. That's it for today guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please crush the like button and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.